keep an eye on him. He takes one step to me. He gets escorted out of here. You understand? And Craig, Craig, I think you have some memory issues. Because the last time we were standing in here, I told you, the only way you're getting to me is if you earn a shot at this. And guess what, pal? You've earned fuck all. Listen to this. Now, I don't know who you think you are. If you think you have some magical way to defeat me, but let me tell you something, Craig. Not you, not anyone back there has come close to taking this from me. Whoa! Oh my God, you can tell it when we arrived at the building, James. This place was throbbing with anticipation. We are on the road to fear and loathing, and it looks like a certain outlaw might be gunning for a new bounty. Absolutely, Stevie. James, so, so impressive in singles competition, has taken Kez Evans to his limits before. Certainly has. Could he do so again? It's getting busy out here tonight to kick off Fight Club, Billy. Well, James, I, I've got to mention this. There's been a lot of talk backstage about Big Anthony. People are happy to see him coming back, but that doesn't, didn't mean the other members of the roster have lost their place in line. Hey, it's a money match. It's a match we'll be down to see. I'm sure many would stand aside and let him take this shot at Kez Evans, but these are others that are outlaws. Did I just hear you say that nobody's even came close to beating you for that title. Let me take you back just a couple of months, kids. When I pinned you right in the middle of this ring. Well done, you can count you inbred bastards. I had that title, kids. Raised above my head, and I was declared the new ICW World Heavyweight Champion. So the way I see it, if anyone in this company deserves a shot at wiping the smile off that prick's face and taking that title from him, it's the outlaw Stevie James. Now I understand, Craig, you want your shot. But you're just going to have to wait your fucking turn. You may have returned at Shug's house party, but I won at Shug's house party twice. And fear and loathing? Well, fear and loathing's when I shine. At fear and loathing, I became ICW, king of insanity. I became ICW, tag team champion. And at this year's fear and loathing, I will become the ICW World Heavyweight Champion. Call me shot. I don't know what you're smoking, you stoner bastard. But if you bet me for this, then how come I'm still your World Heavyweight Champion, huh? I'm just going to cut this short. Shut the fuck up! I'm the champion! Okay, Listen Evans. to me! He's lost his mind. He thought he was going to come out here. The hero's welcome. I'm cutting Gradle. this short. Not you. Not you gets to decide who gets to fight me. I get to decide. Oh. Wait a minute, we're not oh. finished here. The heads keep on coming, everyone. Here comes a man, Billy, who perhaps has the most legitimate claim to Kez Evans' throne, the holder of the Square Go briefcase. Well, James, in that briefcase, he's got a printed, signed and stamped and verified contract that he can cash in at any time for a shot at an ICW championship, and he's made no bones about it. It's the world title El Capitan is after. Cut the music, cut the music, boys. Very now, what are you on this week? Online, I said that I had a very special announcement to make tonight. And when I heard all of you in this ring talking about who is going to be the next challenger for that championship, I thought, what a better time than now. Now, since the square go, I might have taken a little detour. 
I might have laid waste to the manifesto in the main event of Bard and ICW's return to the garage. I might have taken BT Gun to his limit in the King of Insanity match. But always, at the front of my mind, there has been a burning fire. An obsession of being the very best wrestler that this company has ever seen. And holding the ICW World Heavyweight Championship. Now, Stevie James, Craig, I understand that you've both got scores to settle with Kev Evans. Kev Evans. Shut your mouth, bud. Stevie James. No one in that locker room has come closer than you at beating Kev Evans for that World Heavyweight Championship. You stood in the middle of this ring and you held that championship high just to have it ripped away from you. Now, Craig, Kez Evans, he broke your arm, hospitalized you. He stopped you doing what you love. But for me, this isn't about Kez Evans. This isn't personal, it's business. All I care about is winning the ICW World Heavyweight Championship. It doesn't matter whose waist it's around. It could be you, it could be you. The result will be the same. Now, at Shug's house party night two, I saw Kez Evans knocked out in the middle of that ring. And even in the state I was in, after I had light tubes smashed over my head, after I was thrown into barbed wire, I could have limped down to that ring. I could have cashed in my briefcase and I could have walked out Shugs as your new world heavyweight champion. But, but I didn't. And I'll tell you why, Kez. Because I'm not a coward. I'm not like you. I'm not going to pick a man when he's down. I'm going to beat you for that championship, mark my words. But when I do, I'm going to look you in the eyes like a man. Now, boys, i got a lot of respect for you both. But at Shug's house party night two, when all was said and done, they weren't chanting Stevie James. They weren't chanting for Craig Anthony. They were chanting, Layton. Layton. You're talking about who's going to be the next challenger for that championship. Well, only one man decides. And he's standing in this ring right now. Well, that's all very well and good, Layton. Now you could talk about all the fucking light tubes and barbed wire that you want, but you see the thing is, Stevie James has been in the ring with Kez Evans. Craig Anthony has been in the ring with Kez Evans. Craig Anthony went through war in the ring. Craig Anthony went through mental, physical, psychological warfare with that man. And I come out the other side and I'm still willing to step in this fucking ring with him. See, that takes a special kind of individual. And you, Leighton? Well, I don't think you have the balls. Oh. You don't think I got the balls, Craig? Stevie, huh? Well, I'll tell you my special announcement right now. I'm cashing in, don't worry about that. El Capitan, Leighton Buzzard, is cashing in in the main event of Fear and Fucking Loathing! Oh, he's called his shots! You said it, James, he's jumped to the front of the queue! Absolutely, and no one can argue with it! And Craig! Maybe there's a spot in the Zero-G match, buddy. <laughs> oh! Oh, it was only a matter of time, it Billy. It certainly was. Stevie James is oh. watching on. The world's heavyweight champion is going to get involved. Look at wait, this. Wait a minute. Oh, you've got a target painted on your back now, Leighton. Kez Evans, go for that oh. block clutch. What oh, a super kick from the outlaw, Stevie James. It wasn't going to let Kez Evans get an early advantage. What a combustible situation this is to kick off this week's ICW Fight Club. Well, fans, we know it. 
our main event of fear and loading will be El Capitan Kez Evans. Thank you, pardon. El Capitan Leighton Buzzard.